morning guys and welcome to today's video it is Sunday and we are headed out to another auction it's 8 33 a.m. and we've been driving for like an hour half an hour I guess um, but we are headed to a bird auction and I've always wanted to go I've been there before and we were always at a horse show it's at the same place where they hold the horse shows it's the first horse show it's the place where the girls went to their very first horse shows ever we are so excited. Um, my sister's gonna meet us there. Let's set the rules. What are you looking for, Sophie? A duck. What kind of duck? Um, call duck. Call duck. What else? If there's no call ducks, what are you looking for? Anything? A duck. We're not getting bigger ducks. Absolutely not. They no. Do have mini geese? Do they have mini geese? They should have them. Yeah, we should make those. We love that little call duck. We took him outside this morning and he walks in the middle of those chickens. Every chicken moves out of his way and he loves going out there with the chickens. He's obsessed with that. He's just a tiny little thing. He's never hurt anybody, but he is tough. <laughs> anyway, we are here. Uh, let's go in and see what we can potentially buy. Hopefully it's a big sale like the horse sale was yesterday. I'm hoping it doesn't look too busy though. All right, I was lying. It looks busy here. There's so many cars. Holy moly. <gasps> look at those chickens. They are lavender Orpingtons. Oh my gosh. Birdcage. Wow, what the heck are they? Oh, that's what we're getting. They are so beautiful. You guys can't see. Turkeys. We are looking, you guys. There are look at that, a huge sale. That is a huge turkey. That's what we're gonna have soon. Lots of frozen chicks. Silver lace. Oh, silkies. There's a guinea. There's a guinea. Okay, it's like insane amounts of birds. Bunnies. There's a duck. What is that? Apple yard ducks? Oh, those look like little, uh, too big. Like those quails. 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 Look, little ducks. Little tiny ducks up there. Quails. Quails. We're getting them. <laughs> no, we're not getting them. We need them. We need it. Okay, see, this is why I wanted to talk about it in the store, in the car. Oh, they're nice looking. Really cute. I can't wait to hear the gobble gobble of little gobbles on our farm. Look at how gorgeous with the sun shining on them. <laughs> It'd be funny if it chases me. It'd be funnier if it chases you. Like the sheep and the roosters. <laughs> Those are some pretty big ducks. What are they? I think quail. Quail? So there's two button quails. We only saw aww. Oh, Do not a Polish, I think. Yeah, that is a Polish. I want a mom. <laughs> Well, you better ask what Jenny if she can give you a cage. Yeah, they are so friendly. I want these ones. <laughs> so cute. Look at them looking at us. They are adorable. That's cool. You brought eggs. That, that one's got an egg. I so these the are not ones. the button quail. These are like bigger quail, I feel like. Yeah, but. Uh, so these are fancy ducks back there. So that's what we're gonna go for. This or these two little button quail comes with the cage. Wait, you guys can't see. All right, so there's two little button quail, but see if we get the friendly ones. All right, so those bigger quail. Friendly. They let me pet them. Yeah. All right, so that's what we're going for. Oh, <laughs> look at you! You are the cutest. She's like, why am I here? Oh, you're adorable. Okay, so we don't know, like it's about to start. We don't know what we're gonna get. I don't wanna get, uh, what are they called? I don't wanna get quail because we need like a, an enclosure for them and we're not, I mean we could, we could, Sam could build something, we have a spot, but I don't wanna get big quail. I'd go for the button quail, but my sister wants them. So we're gonna not go for that. There's so many people here. I don't know what we're gonna get. We're not getting bunnies. We're not getting doves. Like, yeah. So what? What? Or there's. All right. We don't know what we're gonna get. 
guys, is going it's going badly. But look at that turkey. Isn't that the cutest turkey you ever saw? All right, it is. Uh, so we got there at what time did we get there? 8:30. We got there at 8:30. It's now 11.30. It's now 12.30. And it was our first chicken auction. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. The prices were so crazy. There was one for one guinea. It was $45. We bought, we paid $25 for ours. $45 for a guinea. We, we saw two things that we wanted. There were two 20, two tiny button quail two tiny button quail guess how much they went for 150 dollars two little tiny button quail then the only other thing that we wanted there was call was two call ducks so it was a pair a boy and a girl of call ducks like the little duck that we have and they went for what did they go for 145 or something 140 dollars Anyways, I like I'm on the list like I already am on a list for two call ducks from a registered show line and they're $25 each so like it doesn't make sense for me to spend $145 on two that I don't even know where they're coming from they could be sick um, where I'm getting them two of them for $50 from a breeder. It was insane. It was insane. Somebody brought two little stacks of newspaper and they went for 20 bucks. Two little stacks of newspaper so that you could line your cages with them. And they went for 20 bucks. What else was there? Like, the prices were so outrageous. But once the things that we wanted left, like, I didn't even get a chance to, to try and bid on them because it was so fast. Everybody wanted those two things. Like, it, little tiny chickens went for so much money like everything was oh so overpriced anyway it was not worth it it was the worst auction ever in terms of price like it, it would be so much more beneficial for us to have taken chickens there like just plain jane chickens we're going for 45 dollars 50 dollars for a chicken not worth it i can find them online we got, oh my gosh, people were selling, they were selling roosters for so much money. I'm like, I have two roosters you can have. Come on. <laughs> she literally just climbed in that pool. So cold at that sale, everybody was freezing. And it is freezing cold outside. I still have a ton of work to do. I've lost my pig. Oh, there she is. Come on. No, come on, out. Get out. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this way, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. When she figures out where I'm going, she always comes. She has such a strong mind of her own. I don't know why everybody's so excited to go down to the goat barn today. She can barely fit anymore. There's sun. I can't believe it. Anyway, don't ask me, basically, why do we only see some of your dogs in the videos? Come on, we're not going to be eating goat food. Come on, let's go. <coughs> yes, get her that way. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, everybody in, quick, hurry up. And basically the answer is that all of our dogs do their own thing kind of so right now I have two dogs with me but the dogs go outside like regular dogs to go to the bathroom on a schedule and they all go out at the same time and even the pig sometimes goes out with them and then when we go down to do chores and do things at the barn then all of our dogs kind of do different things so Daisy our deaf, deaf Dalmatian doesn't enjoy the horses and the other animals because she can't hear them and they scare her so she doesn't come down she's a straight in and out kind of a dog and she does like some running around and she'll play in the front yard <laughs> i'm being attacked you guys can't tell but i'm being eaten from behind by a brown goat bothered from the front by a white goat eaten and then a little blossom here is driving me crazy too she's doing much better about her baby her baby on the other hand is not doing as well but anyway okay so that's daisy Molly always comes down <laughs> um, 
with Sam and Gabby. He, so Molly, always, I don't even know how they know, but well, they know our schedules. So Ellie comes always with me and the pig usually comes with me too. So Ellie and the pig are always with me. Uh, Molly is with me usually in the mornings and usually in the mornings and then she's always out throughout the day when we're outside so molly's almost always with us date ellie is almost always with us ruby comes out at night with sam she runs around the barn she comes out in the middle of the afternoon she doesn't come out in the morning when it's cold they all basically just have their own routines it's hard to explain i'm actually shocked that molly's out here with me right now she spends all of her time with sam and Gabby, but they all love the goat barn. So yesterday morning when I was down here, it was Ellie and Ruby for like the whole time I was down here. And it, today it's Ellie and Molly. It just depends. Like they come out when they want to come out. They go where they want to go. They go out all the time to go to the bathroom. It's just however it works in our family. They just don't all go out at the same time with the same people. Hey, how'd you get out there? Get back in here, little missy. Come on. I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleaning up down here. Our power is out. Our power is out, so Sam started a fire because it's that cold out that we want that we need heat still. Listen, who is biting me? It's you. What are you doing? If we can't be warm inside, we might as well be warm outside. Do, 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 do. that I could be brave is there anything good on the radio turn it up loud and let me know how it used to be before anyone heard of you and me ooh, 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 ooh. I'm feeling A one-way ticket to a better day A rocking chair and a glass of wine In the shade of a tree and I'm feeling fine There's not a lot to ask When life is going by so fast One breath away Step up and say brought the trailer in which was super kind of him but he made these ruts all over the ground and they're not my favorite oh. cleaning up from the winter is so hard he's a cutie you're pretty cute are you keeping him? yeah we're keeping him forever and ever so my sister I said I should band him now she always banded her babies when they were young and and still control never had an issue she said but my vet doesn't recommend that and i don't recommend that like i just i don't know i don't feel comfortable enough to band a, a young goat i want him to at least be 12 weeks look rocky's pretty friendly now yeah rocky you're pretty friendly take away his family and he's friendly yeah take away his family and he's a good boy I mean, that technically is his i know family. yeah it's his sister's his child yeah, it's his nephew. Yeah. What? You trying to eat my... He's Anya uncle. was trying to eat my hands too. What is on my hands that they Honey want? was? Um, Anya. Anya? Look at how much he's enjoying this. <laughs> they have two weeks left before they go over with Winston. Two whole weeks. Watch, when she stops, what happens? <laughs> You're so cute. He's super snuggly too. He's another Winston, but Winston's still different, isn't he? Do you want to turn? Come here. You don't like being held as much. We're supposed to be doing work this down here. Later, jeez. Yeah, I want to weigh them. That's what that we're going to do. Well, that's been shorter. You're chubby. I want to weigh Cricket too because she is a porky little thing. 
She's smaller than me. Hi, Cricket. You gotta keep rocking him and he'll be happy. <laughs> I told him. To hey, let me see. Pull it out. He is 16 pounds. So there's a hard rule about goats. Like, it's a hard, I guess it's maybe a soft rule. I don't know. It's a rule that. You shouldn't separate babies from their moms until they're about 20 pounds. And people are uh, conflicted on that rule. I love that rule, it's such a good guideline. Babies need milk to grow strong. When babies are strong, they are a lot more resistant to parasites. So you want your babies to be strong. So they say, they recommend, the biggest recommendation, or the they recommend that you don't wean a baby until it is 20 pounds. Stop. Stop it. Just lay him across. Oh. <laughs> Heavy. Make it up. Read, read it quick. Um, I can't read no, you it. you can't hold that thing. You can't hold that thing. Okay. Let go. Let go. Let go. This guy is about 16 pounds. <laughs> it I is think... way harder than you think. Let's go away with him. What is he doing? He's right. like, <laughs> let's weigh one of the brown ones. Hey, so uh, well, that's a pretty good idea that our triplets weigh 16 pounds at at six weeks. Six weeks, they weigh 16 pounds. Let's do Winston. He's chill. All right, let's do Winston. He's like, can I have this? This guy's like, no, do me again. Do me again. I reconfigured our tires, so hopefully they can play on them. Okay. Winston. Come on, Winston. We know that we know you're a good size. He's a really good size. He's not too skinny, not too fat. And this summer, this winter, they really stocked up. So I thought he was going to be Look too at fat. Him. He's just chill. I know. When he was a baby. I How much him. do you think he weighs? Like this guy's nine weeks old. Thirty-eight pounds. You think thirty-eight pounds? Okay. Well, <laughs> we need let's help. Throw it under him. Yeah, let's put it under him, and then we'll just lift him up. Wait, I have to put the camera somewhere. Ticket to a better day A rocking chair and a glass of wine In the shade of a tree and I'm feeling fine There's not a lot to ask When life is going by so fast One breath away Step up and say Hold on Pat, no, 30 pounds. Winston is 30 pounds. So, holy ma man. I carry that around too. I know. That's crazy. I'm actually going to get Sam to hang this up so it's a lot easier. <laughs> Everybody's unhappy because there's a pig in the field. Oh, wait, there is. It is hours later. I left my, my camera down in the barn. <laughs> Forgot it. Just putting the goats to bed, and I realized something important today. I realized something super important today. Tilly is aggressive. No, <laughs> she's so cute. What I realized was that I'm not an auction kind of person. I'm not like a super daring kind of person, if that makes sense. And I just don't feel comfortable buying something that I don't know what it is. Does that make sense? Like I just, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable going there like, bringing home chickens or birds or anything that could make my bird sick and there were a couple things we could have quarantined in the house and kept away from our chickens to make sure but i don't think i'm an auction person i think there are auction people who get off on the high of like winning the bid and stuff like that but that's not me i made a little i put the tires up a little bit today so that they could have something new to play on and they are playing they love it. Look at that goat. Isn't he so cute? He's looking like his auntie. No, his half-sister. He's looking fuzzy. 
Smug Blossom. Uh oh, this is the tricky part. I'm getting this all cleaned up, but I don't know if I like it better with a little bit of hay on there or if I like it just dirt. Come on. All right, I'm waiting for help. She knows she needs to come in so I can milk her, but she can't get in. Oh, her milk is a lot tonight. Good girl, good girl. She's so smart. Don't you know that you're beautiful?